So now for this video, I'm going to introduce you to conductance. So normally when we talk about electrical components, other than uh, like LEDs, which have a voltage drop, but the ones that rely just on resistance for reducing current, like the resistor, we uh, normally talk about resistance, but you can also look at it through uh, conduction, how much it conducts. So conduction is the reciprocal of resistance. We'll go over that a little bit more. But sometimes resistance doesn't really work in formulas. But if you convert the resistance into conduction, sometimes you can do some formulas that you couldn't do otherwise. So we have this LED connected to a 1 kilo ohm resistor is a whole lot brighter than the LED connected to a 10 kilo ohm resistor. This one's a 10 kilo ohm, that's a 1 kilo ohm. So, this resistor is conducting a lot better than this resistor. So now we're going to get rid of the LEDs. They're a variable that kind of throws off our readings of conduction of these resistors. So first thing we're going to do is see the voltage that uh, will be across the resistor when we measure current. So it's going to be about 8 8 volts. So these two circuits are parallel of each other. They're both connected to the battery in exactly the same way, but none of the current that goes through one resistor ever goes through the other resistors. They have two separate paths. And when you're dealing with conduction and formulas and stuff, it's generally for that purpose, for parallel circuits. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure how much current goes through this resistor. And you see it's about uh, uh, 8.7 milliamps. Now we'll measure the current that goes through this resistor. And now you see it's about a tenth of that, 0.87. So as I said, this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor, whereas this is a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And you can see we get 10 times as much current going through this resistor when we're connected to the same battery in parallel as this resistor. So this has 10 times the conductance. So now as I just demonstrated, uh, resistance and conductance are related. The more resistance, the less conductance. The less resistance, the more conductance. And here we can put some numbers to that. And uh, it's uh, in smaller writing here, but I explained how you calculate the conductance based on the resistance. So this symbol here, it's an upside down omega symbol. The omega symbol is used for resistance in ohms. So this symbol is called Mohs. Not only is the symbol turned upside down, but they flip the spelling of uh, the symbol name to just Mohs. And uh, they did that on purpose, just to make it easy to realize it's the opposite of ohms. Instead of resistance, it's conductance. So they use the letter G, though, to indicate conductance for uh, whatever reason. So conductance is uh, 1 over the resistance. So this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor. That's 1,000 ohms. So if you take 1 and divide it by 1,000, you get 0 0.001 mohs, so 1 millimo. So now in this diagram, I also showed that with resistance, that's voltage divided by current. That's Ohm's law, that's well covered. I'm not really going to go into that, but I did do uh, the math down here. 9 volts divided by 0 0.009 amps. Remember, when you're using these formulas, current is in amps. Uh, even though we're getting milliamps in our readings, you got to convert them to amps to get an accurate formula. And that'll equal 1,000 ohms, so 1 kilo ohm. Now you can use the same basic Ohm's law to uh, get conductance. But this time, current is divided by voltage. So 0 0.009 amps divided by 9 is... 0 0.001 mohs, so that's one millimoles. Now another thing to uh, mention 
and I'm going to end it here, is that officially it's uh, actually the unit of uh, Siemens, not Mohs. Siemens is indicated by a capital S. But uh, in basic electronics, you'll probably hear it more referred to as Mohs. But if you hear of Siemens, or talking about Siemens, or the capital S in a formula, that's the same thing as Mohs. It actually has two names uh, for whatever reason. Uh, it's no big deal, but one thing to note is that the capital S is Siemens. Uh, the little s in formula stands for seconds. So you can see that uh, just seeing an S in a formula, maybe you'll think that seconds when actually it's a capital S for Siemens. So the upside down omega symbol is a lot more easy to notice. And remember that it's the opposite of the omega symbol for ohms. And so that's probably why this is probably more common in basic electronics.